You know, the strange thing that I now know about myself is that the more I have on my plate, the better I organize myself and the better I do. It's this thing with pressure. I was that student in undergrad that used to wait till the 11th hour to write that paper and it was just a success, right? <laughs> One of the things that was concerning to just family members and friends when I said, I'm gonna go back and complete my degree was how are you gonna fit it all in? And um, for me, it was, it was a no-brainer. APU offered the flexibility I needed to be able to do that as well as manage work, life, school. It wasn't uncommon for me to wake up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. when I'm the freshest to read a passage or maybe crank out a forum posting. And on the weekends, I would binge study on the weekends. If it meant to take my laptop on a car ride, a very long car ride, or off to the amusement park, then that's what I would do. <laughs> I've cranked out some of the best papers on my way to Miami. <laughs> I um, mean, it worked out and my family didn't mind it at all. For my 12 and nine year old, they don't know what it means at the end, at the other side of the rainbow, that what mommy's accomplishing is a lifelong dream. But they gave me that space to do that. They would even come and check on me. Mommy, do you want something to drink? Do you want something to eat? Because I would go hours, you know, sitting at the computer. But even if they didn't understand, they were still that much supportive because they knew it was important to me. My experience with other students at APU was very engaging. There were folks that were just finishing their undergrad and they were the more advanced and there were others who were just going back for another degree or a different degree. And I found that I learned from each and every one of them. It actually served me well in being able to mentor others. Like when we were sharing postings and conversations about one's perspective on something, it, it varied drastically sometimes from one to another, but I, um, I learned to take a step back and really take in that refreshed perspective. When I was um, interviewing for this next opportunity, one of the things that was impressed upon me was the ability to lead teams, make really hard decisions. And in this course, this last course that I took in my master's program at APU, it gave me the resources, um, kind of like the guidance and the know-how to be able to do that successfully. And I implemented a lot of that in my day-to-day. -day. Having gone from a human resources manager to a strategic business partner, to now Director of Human Resources for Latin America. It says it all, and I think I owe it all to my learning at APU. My name is Javanka Rodriguez, and I'm an APU graduate.